Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> Thank you, Honourable Member, for your contribution. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, on the business of debt, Mr. Speaker, um, very soon we'll be coming to Parliament with a Debt Management Act, Mr. Speaker, to put some to put some order in what we inherited, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, there is in our debt portfolio. Um, there are two items that we never mentioned, Mr. Speaker. That is the payables and the direct and the DFCs. We never mentioned, Mr. Speaker. And our the our chickens are coming home to roost, Mr. Speaker, because all these short-term election roads that were built um, at interest rates of five percent, Mr. Speaker, during that time when interest rates were, were, were pretty low, Mr. Speaker. Now they ha we have to consolidate it in a debt management act, a debt management bill, Mr. Speaker. So we'll be coming to Parliament very shortly with the debt management act, Mr. Speaker. Also, the payables, the payables to local suppliers, which again is not part of our total debt portfolio. We have to bring it in because of that, because of this um, bill, Mr. Speaker. So very soon we have to come to Parliament to take a, a position to do something which ought to have been done years ago. Ought to have been done to give a true idea of the debt of the country. These debts had to be included in our debt portfolio. But they were not put in our debt portfolio because of the, the, the very skillful, quote unquote, economic management of the country. These debts were kept out, Mr. Speaker. But right now, we'll have the, we have to take the position, have the courage to show the true picture. Right, Mr. Speaker. Because, Mr. Speaker, again, there's another item that we've left out, Mr. Speaker, land, land acquisition. We've taken people's land, and we haven't paid them. And <clears throat> I know that is in each, in the cabinet, that, is, that discussion comes up all the time. We've taken people's land, and we haven't paid it. There's about $60 million worth of, of, of land that we've acquired, and we haven't even inc included the interest on that land. But we've taken it, and we haven't included it in our debt. We owe the University, the university of the Cindy's, our alma mater, a school that some people think is, is, is irrelevant, but it's a school that is the essence of our West Indian culture is the essence of us as West Indians, the University of the West Indies, the speaker. It's a school that gives opportunity to many people who live, never have had the opportunity to go to university, Mr. Speaker. We owe that school about $27 million. We have to pay it. We've said to the, to the people of St. Lucia that we're going to pay if we say the West Indies. We're not going to discard it and treat it as if it doesn't exist, Mr. Speaker. All these have to be brought into a, a, a debt management bill, Mr. Speaker, which will have the courage to pass in this parliament. So, Mr. Speaker, I thank, thank members for allowing us the approval to go to the RSMG to raise the, that finance. And we hope to continue, Mr. Speaker, to continue the positive signs of the solution economy. Real, Mr. Speaker, there's never been a time over the last three or four years where this economy has looked as positive as it is looking now, Mr. Speaker. There's no better time. And the facts, the facts will show it, Mr. Speaker. This economy is trending in the, in the right direction, Mr. Speaker. It's trending in the right, in the right direction. And this, as the investment projects come on stream, we will see what real management of an economy is all about, Mr. Speaker. Not managing by talk, not managing by innuendo, management by reality on the ground. The lowest unemployment rate in the country from since 2010. And this, and this statistic is not taken isolation. We've compared it to the labor force. So it's not a matter. There was some time when public, when the, the unemployment that Member for Miku South. Um, yes, Mr. Speaker, the member is misleading the House. In the statistical review, when it came to the unemployment, there was a 
caveat that indicated that the unemployment numbers are not comparable to any other previous year. And so while I uh, would expect the member to say that he thinks it is a certain uh, uh, unemployment level, his own statistics department has indicated that the numbers are inaccurate and should not be used to compare to previous years. Mr. Speaker, the Social Economic Review says that the unemployment rate for this year was the lowest from 2010. Member for Castries, East. Yes, Member for New South. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to rise on a point of order again. While the member, while the member from Castries East would like to think that that's the case, but the reality is, is that his own statistics at the index says that this is a rate that is uncomparable to any number in the previous years because of the way that they, they have accumulated the data. Member, what, what is the Mr. point Speaker, of... Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker... What is the point of order I'm supposed to rule on? You are quoting the Department of Statistics. He's quoting the Economic and Social Review. What is the... It's, it's, it, sir, it's, no, but your point of order would have to be that the Social and Economic Review is being misquoted. You yeah, can't that's, bring... That's exactly what I've said, Mr. Speaker. No, you're and saying that in, the statistical... I, I, I apologize if, in fact, you've misinterpreted what I've said, and I appreciate that that seems to be a common trait these days. In the Social and Economic Review, where it has the unemployment numbers, at the bottom of that page, Mr. Speaker, there's a note from the Statistical Department indicating that those that is not a comparable number to years previously because of how they accumulated the numbers. So all I'm saying is that I have no difficulties as a member wanting to quote a number, but to make a comparison to that number to the previous years when in the social and economic review, at the bottom of the page on the unemployment number, it clearly indicates that you cannot make that comparison. Please proceed. Mr. Speaker, for the year 2010, from since the year 2010, the unemployment rate was the lowest in the year 2010. Mr. Speaker, the agriculture, Mr. The Speaker, agriculture, of Member of the Castries East, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, but he's making a point of order. I've stood on the point of order again, Mr. Speaker. I'm asking for you to rule. In fact, if you want to get the social and economic review, we can take a recess so you can see if you're... But I have made a rule and I've asked him to proceed. And you've, so you've, means you've accepted that, that what the information he's saying is accurate? That the social review says what he says, he says, yes. But at the bottom of the page, it has That's a caveat. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't say that. He said what he, he said. Mr. If Speaker. you want to make a, a note... No, Please Mr. proceed, Speaker. member. No, 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 Mr. Speaker. Yes, it is, Mr. It is member. Very clear, member. The very clear member from Niku South. Review, that it says that that is member from Niku South. Yes, Mr. Speaker. I will make a matter of you every time you wish to make yourself a matter. Once you're going to breach the rules, I have ruled the member for Castries East will continue. The point of order is over. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, the same way that ag our agricultural output was the highest for a long time. Manufacturing was the highest for a long time. Agriculture was in the, in the negative. Now, agriculture um, this year was the highest. So, manufacturing output in, in, increased. Tourism increased, Mr. Speaker. Um, the, 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 the value of our deposits increased. So, Mr. Speaker, there's growth, everything. And there was the largest economic growth, 18.1%. So, Mr. Speaker, these are, these are the things that we cannot dispute, Mr. Speaker. The figures show that management of the, that management of the economy under this government has been better than under the previous government. But yes, and the figures show Show it. The government's cash flow shows it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the figure show it. The government's cash flow shows it, shows it, Mr. Speaker. And this year, we experienced a surplus on both the current account and the premium account. A fact. Mr. Speaker, they can. This. And that's why you still like to get out. This thing. Uh, Mr. Speaker. You see, Mr. Speaker, all these things are to create. We had to create diversions, but we are diverting nowhere. That is not going to take us off. You're not going to. You're not going to make me disrespect the speaker. I'm not going to disrespect the speaker. I'm not going to walk out. 
I'm not going to get vexed and run cry. I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to debate the facts. And if you want, you can stand up and debate the facts. So all this, all this thing you're doing to try to impress the gallery, the people show what they think about you already. They beat you. They've shown it. And you have to wait. You have to wait to contest another election. So you can go and you can knock the table, you can jump, you can scream, you lost the election, and you will stay lost for a while. And what you're doing will not impress anybody because you lost the Miku not seat. That's why it won't impress anybody. So don't, don't come here and believe you can, I don't believe you can come here and make a, and pretend to make to make a mockery of, of, of this parliament, Mr. Speaker, you're not going to divert us. We're not going to get diverted. We are focused. We're not going to divert us. So, Mr. Speaker, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I thank members for the support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.